and celebrate who we are. Yeah. Come on, everybody. Let's celebrate like Frida Kahlo and Diego Rivera. We paint a picture. The world stops and stares. For Hispanic Heritage Month, we're going to learn about molas. Now, the Kuna people live mostly on the San Blas Islands off the Atlantic coast of Panama and also in Costa Rica and Colombia. Molas are brightly colored, multi layered fabric panels with tiny stitches. Kuna women cut back in a flake the layers to create designs. Molas are worn as the front and back panels of their blouse. The Nakuna are well known all around the world for their striking mola panel. So, the Kuna are from a chain of 365 islands uh, and adjacent jungle. You know, they're the people that are from uh, this area. They are usually fishermen, or, or there are farmers, or, or they're like um, artists. You know, they make this beautiful artwork that we're going to learn about today. Isn't that awesome? So, you know, the tapestries are called molas, and they comprise of the central part of the area. These wonderful ladies are some of the ladies who make them. Look at this artwork. It's just so beautiful. I love it. Now, the kunas have been making molas for more than 100 years. Wow, that's pretty cool. So, here is a tradition that is passed down from their mom down to their daughter, and then passed down from generation to generation. So everybody learns how to make these beautiful molas. Did you know it could take more than 40 hours to make a mola? Wow. And then, you know, the most complex molas can take up to six months. That's a long time. Yeah, I don't have that kind of patience. Selling their molas is the only ways that they can make money as a woman in this area. So, we're going to see how molas are made. Look at this beautiful fabric. And let's watch her how she sews on the different pieces of fabric to make the pictures of the different animals. Whoa, I think she's all done. Look at it. Wow. That is beautiful. Do you see the owls? Wow, that is so cool. Oh, she's going to hang it up with the rest of them. That is so cool. That is awesome. Wow, very cool. All right, boys and girls, here's our project from today. Molas from Panama. You will need a 12 by 16 black paper, picture of a silhouette. I have some dogs and cats and birds. Or you can just decide what image you might draw, like a dog, fish, turtle. You're gonna draw the silhouette and then cut it out. And then you're going to trace it onto a piece of paper, like here. Now, when you're done, cut it out, but save all your scraps for later because you're gonna need it for other shapes. Now choose the color that looks best to go next. So look, we got blue here. So we got this little dog, put it on the blue. And then now you're gonna draw around your picture, leaving an even space of color around the outside, a little bubble around it. And then we cut it out and now it's an outline. And then we're going to glue it onto a third color. Now I'm gonna use, we're gonna use glue sticks instead of white glue because it just dries faster. 
Now look at that, that looks really awesome. Centering in the black paper, and now we're gonna start designing. We're gonna make some different shapes and cut it out and make some patterns. So we made some ears, we're gonna make some inside shapes of the ears, and then now we're going to make some eyes. See, I glued on the white paper and then cut them out. And then we're now we're gonna make a little mouth, and then we're gonna make a little spot out of the dog and make some stripes. We got some blue and red stripes with a couple little white dots. And then now I'm gonna make some legs and some dots and some patterns and fill up the rest of our dots. Now we are ready to design the background with patterns. But don't glue them on until you're happy with the look. So I'm gonna make some different things. Here's a spiral. Uh, here is a wiggly line, some straight lines, and then I'm gonna cut them out and just see what they look like. Now you can use the same shapes over and over again. So I'm tracing this shape onto uh, the blue paper so I can use it. You don't worry, you're gonna need lots of them. So trace uh, different ones, it's okay to have too many. So look at all the ones I have here. Lots of dots, lots of lines, lots of squigglies. Arrange your shapes and uh, design on your background. So look at, I'm laying them out. Got some white ones, purple ones, yellow ones, red ones. Put some lines there. Let's spread them out. Look at how the colors are spread out. Is it even? Should I make some up there? Maybe cut them smaller? Yeah, that looks better. And now let's glue them on. So we're gonna glue them on with a glue stick, much easier. And then put those spirals back on, put the lines back on. Use the small ones at top. Glue those on and finish up. Make sure I got them all glued on. That's looking good, nice and straight. Some polka dots to fill in the extra space. And that looks awesome. Here are some examples you can get ideas from for your molas. All right, guys, it's your turn. Have fun and create some awesome art.